Hello friends, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to go through all of my dream projects and makes and things I want to add to my wardrobe. There is a lot. Um, mind you, this is not like a fall, winter knitting plans type video because some of these plans will probably go beyond that because I know realistically I will not be able to knit all of these things this fall or winter. But I have all this yarn in my stash and I've got plans for all of it. So I thought I would share it with you today. I'm going to start out with accessories. Also note, I don't plan on sharing any sort of like gift knitting plans because those are separate and for other things. And I don't have that many gift knit plans, only three things as of right now. And I'll share those items as I do project videos on the YouTube channel. Okay, so the first yarn I have here is a yarn I don't have the ball band for because I caked it up and I can't find the ball band. Um, but I do know that the yarn name is called Sneaker Waves. <laughs> so it's this incredibly speckled yarn. I don't know the company. Again, I got this on our anniversary trip a few years ago to Oregon. I do know it's 100% superwash merino wool, and this is going to become a ribbed hat. I am going to hold a strand of alpaca with this. I think it's like a light 10. I, it's somewhere, I can't find it. But I do have it, and it will be held with this. It's gonna be a wild hat but I'm kind of excited for it. So yes, this is going to become just a basic two by two ribbed hat uh, held with some alpaca and it's gonna be fabulous and squishy and very bonkers and I can't wait. The next hat I have planned is with this fabulous Woolberry Fiber Co. It's a um, fingering weight, 100% non superwash merino in peacock posterior. This is one of their like colorways from like their butt collection, <laughs> something like that. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but I plan on holding it double with this alpaca silk to create a really dark, moody blue hat. Again, just plan on doing a two by two ribbed hat because that's what fits my head really nicely. And I think they're really comfy and cozy. So hat number two. The third accessory I plan on making, or I would like to make, is a scarf. I have this Lion Brand Wool Ease. Oh, this is the color Umber. It's this fabulous rusty brown that I want to make a solo scarf out of by Kadri. It's like got this, I don't know, like stripiness garter pattern that I really like. It's like a long, um, it's kind of like a triangle. It's like shaped like this with a slight more point on one end, but there is like a teeny point on one end. I said it's more like a diamond than a triangle. Um, but what I, I think I'm going to alter it. Big shocker, right? Uh, so it comes up and then just stays flat on both ends so it's not coming to any sort of a point because I'm not a huge fan of pointy scarves and shawls and things so I want to make one of those out of this. And that pattern was very kindly gifted to me for test knitting one of her other patterns so yes the pattern was free. Okay let's get into all the garments. I have so many garments that I want to make it's it's kind of ridiculous. Why don't we start with the the garments I'm wanting on to cast on like sooner rather than later. So the first thing I'm wanting to cast on is a Christmas sweater for myself. Like not really an ugly Christmas sweater, but something that doesn't really fit into the wardrobe otherwise, at least not into my wardrobe. I'm sure other people would probably wear this all throughout the cold season, but it probably screams more like Christmas to me. Um, but I found on Pinterest this pattern. It's not really a pattern. It's more of like a photo of a vintage pattern and I really like it. So I'm going to kind of try and recreate it using these yarns. This is Drops Lima, which is a wool and alpaca blend. It's 65% wool, 
35% alpaca. And I have this white creamy color and this burgundy maroony type color. And the plan is to have the yolk white and then do a raglan. The pattern looks like it's a drop shoulder, but I don't want to do a drop shoulder. Um, so I'm going to do a raglan. And then once I get to the split for the sleeves, that's when I'm going to start doing the color work. So the color work is more like across the chest um, than like up top. So that's the plan. I did sort of cast on um, the other day just to play around with the pattern and my gauge is too loose uh, for this yarn. So I'm actually going to go down a uh, needle size for the ribbing because I did the ribbing and the body in the same needle size, which I thought in my head, I was like, this is going to bother me. But I was like, no, it'll be fine. And then as I started to go, I was like, yeah, no, this is bothering me. I knew it was. So why did I do that? Uh, so yeah, that's this. No real pattern I'm going to be following. I have sketched out the color work like chart for myself and I'm kind of working out the math in my head how many stitches I'll need for like the sleeves and the chest for you know doing the color work just kind of yeah it's a bit of math involved with color work because there's like you have to make sure the numbers are spot on because otherwise your color work won't work so yeah I kind of wish there was a pattern for it but it's like this weird vintagey thing that I don't uh, I don't know then I'm wanting to cast on a, another cardigan using this wool of the Andes from Knit Picks. It is 100% Peruvian Highland wool. It's very like very wooly, but not like scratchy wooly. It's like I don't know. It's actually really not that bad. When I first got it, I was thinking this is going to be terrible. I'm going to hate using this, but it actually is really nice. Now, mind you, it's not butter soft but I don't mind that because it's going to be a cardigan. Now, if it was a pullover, I might not like it quite as much, but with a cardigan, like the one I'm wearing, which is 100% non-superwash wool, uh, it's not touching me a whole lot, except for on my arms, and my arms aren't particularly sensitive. My chest is, it's very sensitive. Like I break out like with temperature changes and stuff. So yeah, uh, since it won't be like rubbing against my chest at all, I'm not worried about it in the least. But the pattern I plan on making is the Calm Down Cardigan by Lily Kate France. It, it looks really cozy. Now I do plan on making, guess what? <laughs> yes, a modification, <laughs> big shocker. Uh, the pattern has what looks like three buttons and it's got like, it kind of spread at the bottom. I am going to make it so there's a fourth button down at the bottom just cause I don't like the gap at the bottom. I know it'll bother me. So that's a very simple modification to make. But it kind of looks like it's got these saddle shoulders, which I've always been really curious by this construction. So I'm going to try this construction out for the first time, see if I like it. Uh, and yeah, I think this color is going to fit into my wardrobe really nicely. Originally, I was wanting another like rust color, kind of like that Woolies that I just showed you. But it came this brown, and honestly, I think it's going to fit in my wardrobe very nicely with like some of my greens and like my other like blacks and grays and stuff. I think it's going to work very nicely. So this is a more immediate project, probably as soon as I'm done with one of my other cardigans I have on the needles. And the once I get into the Christmas sweater, then I'll probably cast this on. The next garment I want to cast on after those or during those, I don't know, I probably will cast on one of these two projects before the end of November, just because we're going to be doing a little bit of traveling at the end of November. Uh, we may possibly be going to one of the happiest places on earth as a surprise for the children. Um, so there will be some waiting in airports and waiting in lines for things. So I plan on casting on a fingering weight sweater, hopefully before then, um, but now I just don't know which one I'm gonna cast on. So I'll just show you the first one. 
I got Drop Saffron, which is 100% cotton. I've knit a sweater out of this previously and I really liked the fabric a lot. So I've got more of this and I love it. This doesn't have a specific pattern in mind for this. I just plan on casting on a basic raglan similar to the one I've already knit, but I'm thinking a little bit more uh, ease in this one. And then a ribbed fold over neckline, I think is what I want to do with this. I don't have like a very white sweater. I mean, I have like off white sweaters, but I don't have like a bright white. And so I'm really excited about having a lighter white color sweater. And especially because it is a lightweight yarn, I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of it in like spring and summer. So I'm very excited to have this type of garment in my wardrobe. The other one I'm considering casting on near the end of November is the same yarn, different color. I have this fabulous blue in the drop saffron. I don't currently have anything like this in my wardrobe, like with this dark blue, and I really have been wanting something like it. So the plan is to make a Evermore sweater by Kadri, uh, it's the light version. Now that sweater does have a little bit of lace work. Um, I, it has it at the end of the body down near the bottom, which I plan on eliminating that just because I don't want to wear like an undergarment underneath the sweater and I don't want to show my skin, <laughs> especially in like fall, winter, spring. So I plan on eliminating the lace work out of the body and then just doing the lace work that it has in the sleeves, which I think is really beautiful. And I think this like dark blue will really shine in that pattern. Oh, it'll be so pretty. I don't know. I think I want this like more for fall and winter and I want the other one more for spring and summer. I don't know if I'd be able to achieve like knitting this by the end of winter or not but I really would like to, I think, cast this on as my travel knitting. It just depends on how involved the pattern is. I need to buy the pattern, see how involved it is, and then kind of go from there. But this is gonna be amazing. The next garment I have is not a sweater. It's actually another camisole. I want to do the Sugar Boo Bralette by Kadri again, yes. Uh, but I got this Drops Paris yarn, which I have not worked with before. It's the Erin Waite cotton, and I love this color. I think having a tank cami bralette thing in this color, will it'll just fit in perfectly. I mean, look at that. It's gonna be so good. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do the pattern how it is, or if I'm gonna do my modified version where I turn it into a tank top. I'm undecided at the moment. I want to get more high-waisted jeans. A lot of my jeans are mid. And then the, like, I have like one that's like lower mid. So I'm wanting to get a couple more like higher-waisted ones so I can wear things that are maybe like a little bit shorter or cropped and not be showing my midriff because I'm not comfortable showing the area of my body. I don't mind showing my shoulders or my like neck and stuff like that but I don't not comfortable with my midriff so I might do I might do the bralette version I'm unsure yet we will see but that is the pattern I plan on using and now we're kind of moving more into the territory of I don't know when I'm gonna cast this on and uh, I might not quite have all the yarn or the patterns are kind of up in the air that type of thing but I have the yarn and or most of the yarn, and then I have somewhat of a plan in place for them. The first one I have is this yarn from Surella. It's the home colorway on fingering. You will notice there is a serious dye lot change between this one and these two over here. Uh, I originally got this one in a yarn swap and then I wanted to make a sweater, so I put a thing out there like, does anybody have any more of this yarn? And Sorella actually comment, uh, sent me a direct message and Ashley was like, I have 
a couple if you would like. So we did, I sent her some goodies and she sent me some yarn and I got these two. Well, they don't match. <laughs> so my plan for that is uh, I'm gonna hold it with a strand of alpaca, which I feel like will make this green a bit moodier and like, it'll be so good to have. Wow, this is really hard to hold. Like these greens and that black. How good is that gonna be? As of right now, I want to make the home sweater V-neck by Kadri. I know a lot of Kadri patterns, <laughs> um, but I already own some of these patterns. So it's like, I like to use them, because why not? And I always modify my patterns a bit anyway, so they're never exactly the same. But the plan is, I've made that home sweater V-neck before using a fingering, held double with something, and I was able to finish the whole sweater minus the neckline out of two hanks of yarn held double. So what I'm thinking is I cast on and I use these two, but then when I get to the hem, I use this. Then when I do the sleeves, I use these. And then when I get to the cuffs, I use this. And then when I pick up the neckline, I use this. So it kind of this is different, yes, but it'll be different in those areas where it's ribbing and it won't be as obvious. I hope. That's my plan. We'll see if it works or not, but that is a plan with this yarn. Ooh, there's a big difference right there. It's funny because in some lights you can't tell as much and then in others you can definitely tell. But I feel like held double and then it put in different areas, it'll look. It'll look okay. Please. <laughs> I'll probably do a little mini swatch with the two of them next to each other to see if it bothers me or not. I don't foresee it bothering me that much as long as I plan it out beforehand. I can also plan on doing like longer, chunkier sections of ribbing, which I would probably like anyways, like doing a longer like rib section, like split hem in the bottom. I think that'd be fabulous. Okay, this yarn, I don't have a set plan for. I know I want a textured sweater. So this is Drops Lima, and it's like this really fabulous light gray, like a warm gray. It's color 902, booming in this. I really like this color. So in my head, I'm imagining something textured. I've got a couple of different patterns currently in mind, but I'm not 100% set on either one of those. One of them being the Ingrid sweater by Petite Knit. Like that's that one that has like the sections of like different textures and patterns and stuff. There's like one section I think I'd wanna change a little bit. Like there's a couple of sections I might change the texture depending on stitch counts and such. That or the Hazel sweater by Petite Knit. Now that's a like all over ribbed pattern, which in my head I'm thinking that's crazy. Like that's a lot of ribbing. <laughs> that's so much ribbing. I don't mind rid I don't mind ribbing knitting. I don't mind knitting ribbing that much. And I would really like the end product. Like I, every time I see a ribbed sweater, I think, oh, it's so pretty. So I think I would like it. I just need to look at the yardage to make sure I have enough of this. I'm pretty sure I have enough to knit one of these all over textured sweaters. Originally that wasn't the plan for this yarn. I was planning on doing just a basic raglan, but I have so many like, basic raglans when I went through my wardrobe I was like oh I have a lot of basic raglans and this is pretty close in color to one of my other ones so I was like why don't we do something with texture I don't have like a text all over textured full size sweater at the moment so why not do that so that's kind of the plan with this we'll see what pattern I end up picking out this probably won't be a sweater I start knitting until spring or summer to be realistic I like knitting sweaters through summer so it'll probably be later on we'll see though i might change my mind by the time i get there so who knows this next year and i have have and i have three different ideas in mind for it so i'll probably pick one for now see where i get and then if i have extra yarn i'll cast on one of the other ones or i'll just get more yarn in the future but i have this cone of Holsgarn, this is the coast base, which is wool and cotton. And then I have more of the drops alpaca silk that I will hold double with it. Now my plan is three different patterns. 
Um, one of them being a little black dress. Uh, the pattern Lunch at Tiffany's by Anna Catherine Bush, I think is how you pronounce the last name. Uh, yeah, it's a really, really pretty black dress. Like she knit it in black, uh, but it could be any color, but I obviously have black yarn. Uh, yeah, can you? Oh, it's so good. I actually already have this pattern. The only thing that has held me back from casting that one on is the pattern is huge. There are so many pages of this thing and extra wordy patterns kind of overwhelm me. I like very basic minimal patterns. Uh, and because it's like got shaping and stuff, there's very little room for error, I feel like. So that's what's kept me back from that one. But the end product would just be so nice to have. It's so pretty. I don't know. That may be a further down the road knit when I have less things I want to knit. And it could be something I could focus more of my time and energy on. I don't know. But I really want that finished item. Another idea I've had is a turtleneck because how nice is just a simple black turtleneck. Um, so two patterns I have kind of eyeballed for that is the caramel sweater by Petite Knits, which is just, you know, a basic raglan turtleneck. And then also the salty sweater by Kadri, which is a drop shoulder one. So there's two different types of constructions I've looked at. I'm kind of up in the air which kind of construction I'd want. And then both of those are stock and net, but I've also considered doing a ribbed one. I don't know, probably a stock and net would be my better bet with this yarn, especially all black. It would probably be a lot easier to knit stock and net with this. Another pattern I have thought with this would be a cardigan. I would love a black cardigan. Um, and then I found a pattern that I fell in love with. However, it's not in English. <laughs> it's on Ravelry as the Cozy Cardigan, C-O-S-I Cardigan by Clarissa Schlong. It's German, I don't know. But on there, it says English in the description, and but then on Ravelry, it directs you to the website. When you go to the website, they only have it in German. So, it's beautiful though. It has this really cool like neck detail that I absolutely love and when I think black cardigan I just have this pattern stuck in my head and I can't think of anything else so if I can come up with another pattern maybe I would do a cardigan with this cone being rather large I might be able to get two garments out of it maybe a turtleneck and a cardigan it will kind of just depend on how much yardage each of those patterns requires I also have a 50 gram ball of this black yarn so I do have enough yarn. It's just a matter of actually picking one of these things and making it. So I'm very up in the air at the moment, so it'll probably be a while before I cast that on, maybe late winter, if I get around to knitting all these things, you know? The last thing I have is yarn I don't have, like I don't have all the yarn for this pattern, but I want to make the sibling sweater my size by Laura Penrose. Ever since she shared this pattern, I was like, ugh, oh, like the adult version, I was like, I really want that. It's so pretty. I love the shoulder uh, stripe detail on it. It's really fabulous. I got some yarn from Flock for it. I bought this Woolberry Berry DK Superwash Merino DK weight yarn. How beautiful is this color? It's just like this fabulous, warm, cozy, neutrally white, creamy-ish. Like, it's so good. I love it a lot. Originally, I actually bought this to make a t-shirt, but then I got it and I was just kept squishing it and was like, this yarn wants to be a sweater so bad. Like, there's sometimes you get a yarn and it just says it wants to be something other than what you bought it for. So, I'm listening to the yarn. It's speaking to me and it's telling me what it wants to be, so I'm listening. So I went back over to the Woolberry booth to buy more of this because I was thinking, I want to make a cable. I want to make a cable sweater with this. Um, but they were, they were sold out, of course. So I didn't get enough of this, but then I was like, hold on, that's okay. I'm kind of glad they didn't have more of this because I want to make that sibling sweater my size with this, like, because this is the perfect neutral Beats, and then if I get a color to knit alongside it, 
yes please so I've decided I want to hold like stripe it with a caramel kind of color now I was I did have my eyes set on Paisley um, knits flat white from her New Zealand collection and I was going to but then I had to get I had to use some of my yarn money to get some things for our upcoming trip we're going on so I wasn't able to purchase the yarn so I'm currently putting this idea on hold until I build up my yarn like money again to buy yarn for it because hand dyed yarn is a lot more expensive and I need probably three of these three more hanks to make this sweater so I'm just kind of like putting it on hold and that's okay I don't need to make it right away it'll probably be more of a summer for next fall type of knit and that's okay but I have this yarn it has a plan it is like being clutched onto until I get its perfect mate I will see if there's another like there also is like ZZ um, textiles knits I can't, I can't think of the name at the moment. Um, they just put out a fabulous collection too that has another caramel yarn. I'm just like, oh, that's so pretty. So, but it's okay. There will be more beautiful caramel yarns out there in the future. And I'll just wait until, you know, maybe there's one that's gonna match better. And that's why, that's why. That's why the uni universe told me, wait, you can't afford that yarn yet. Just wait until later. Trust me, you'll wanna wait. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm holding on to at the moment. So yes. Yeah. So those are all my plans at the moment. I know that's a lot, uh, and I know that it's probably not very realistic that I'm going to get all of these things done this fall and winter, and that's okay. I'm not in any sort of rush for any of them. I mean, I would like to have my Christmas sweater and that one cardigan sooner rather than later. I also do have a few uh, items for gift knits, one of them being a garment. So again, I'm not in any huge hurry, but I like to go through and make sure I have plans for all this yarn. I did just kind of go through my stash and like cull a few items from it because I was like, there's a few things, a few like leftovers and um, yarns I bought for things. And I'm like, I'm never going to actually knit this. So pass those on to some other people. So as I was going through my stash, I was like, hey, I need to be very intentional with all these things. So I wrote everything down and if plans change that's fine as long as there's always a plan for it and as of right now I have so many plans <laughs> including like three plans for one yarn thank you all so much for watching this video you'll find all the patterns I talked about down in the description box as well as all the yarns and all the places you can find me including my Instagram and my Ko-Fi in case you want to buy me a cup of tea because I don't drink coffee. And then make sure you hit that like and subscribe to get future videos. And we will see you next time. Have a fabulous day and we'll talk to you later. Bye.